Hey guys, Fox Protocol Mining here, coming at you with a new content video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be touching on RaveOS's custom mining tab. So basically, if you want to add a project, a pool, or a custom miner to the RaveOS database, this is what you're going to do. Now, RaveOS is a community, so anything that you add to any of these uh, sections is going to be public, which means if you add a coin and a pool, that will show up for everybody who uses Rave OS. So it's not just privately to you, everybody gets to use it. So the more information that users add to this tab, the better Rave OS gets. So a lot of the coins are already in here. Uh, I did find a brand new project uh, and I'm going to be using this project for my guinea pig. I know nothing about this project. I'm not endorsing it or anything. I'm basically just using it to show you how you would set up a new project in Rave OS. So the first things first, you need to find the name of the project, the correct abbreviation, and the algorithm that it's supported on, which mining pool stats.stream is a really good way to find proof of work projects. Uh, and that's what we're gonna use for today. So I'm gonna click on add, and then I'm gonna type in the name of the coin, which I've already done, and the short name, which I've already done. And we're going to go to uh, Compile, which is the algorithm this coin supports. Once you hit Save, it'll say Success, and it'll pop up. Now, it's either going to say Success, or it's going to pop up and it's going to say Error. This coin already exists, because if somebody already has this coin added, and maybe you didn't find it when you originally searched, now you'll know it's already in Rave OS. But this one was not, so we're going to continue on because now we are going to add a pool. You can see I already have one added here. This is no longer a valid pool, but uh, it's just kind of was showing me, yeah. Pool name. So we need to come in here and get the pool name, which is this right here. I am going to copy that and paste. So there is the pool's name. Uh, you can shorten that. It doesn't have to necessarily be 100% accurate. It's just, you know, if you want people to know what pool you're mining to, make sure that you plug it in there. Don't try to change that to something that has nothing to do with the name of the pool because nobody will know what pool you're trying to mine to. And then we're going to come in here. Uh, we want to set this up as E wall and we separate it with a period and then we type rig name. So basically, this is how pretty much all wallets are set up. So when Rave OS communicates with the pool, it's going to send your wallet address followed by your token for your rig worker. And then that'll populate on the pool's dashboard as X address with X rig name. Uh, if the pool requires KYC, uh, you might need to add the email address function line to that because you'll be known to the pool by an email address, not a rig worker ID. So that is an important thing to know. Uh, that's generally more common with Bitcoin pools and things like that, like the SHA-256 pools. Not very common with uh, GPU mining, but I'm just gonna throw that out there. Uh, URL template is really simple. You just type in URL because that's how you're connecting to the pool is via a URL. Uh, with this, you're going to want wallet or login because your 99% of the time your wallet is going to be the auto how you log into the pool. It will be automatic. You won't have to do anything. Uh, like I said though before, if the pool requires a login password or an email address to sign up, that's where these other things would come into play uh, because this is how you're verifying your worker against the pool. Uh, select coin. We're going to find that coin that we just added. Uh, it's going to ask you for pool mode. Uh, I usually just put default to this. Most of these others do not apply to any of the situations that you guys are going to be in. Uh, connection type, again, I'm just going to put default unless you're using an SSL connection or something along those lines. But default is generally the way to go. Now it's going to ask me to add a URL. Now, most of the time, a pool has multiple ways to connect. They're called stratums. So you'll have a server based in the US, a server based in Europe, a server based in Asia, and then you'll have difficulty ports. 
So this is where you will post all that information. Now you can just post the specific port that you are going to be connecting through. That's perfectly fine. Or if you want to help the pool out and post all their stratums into the Rave OS, that way nobody else has to come in and add or subtract anything, you know, you can do that as well. Usually that's what I do just to help people out. Now to get this information, you need to go to the pool's website and then they generally, depending on how the, the user interface is, they either, it either says connect to this pool or getting started or how to connect, something like that. And when you click on that, uh, it's going to tell you all the information. So this is saying that your username is going to be your wallet address and your password can be whatever you want, uh, the algorithm that you're mining to. And then this is the URL and it's going to say, and uh, this does not have any defined stratums, it only has a single connection. So you can just copy that, come back to Rave OS, and paste it in there. Now this little box over here is just for details. So like if this was specifically a USA port and it didn't say that in the wallet address, I could type in USA, or I could say this is the low diff port, or you know, you can put whatever you want over there. But since this is, there's only one port, one means of connection, that's not really necessary here. And then we'll just hit save. And now that is in Rave OS. So now I can go to the wallets. I can enter in my wallet information for this coin. Uh, I'll be able to add that coin to my available wallets. And I'll be able to select this pool and the miners for Kapow to this pool. So it's pretty simple. It's not rocket science to accomplish either one of these things. Uh, now, if you entered your eWall or rig name template wrong for any reason, and say this is a pool that does require KYC, maybe you didn't know that at the time, when you try to connect to the pool, uh, when you go into your worker dashboard and you select the mining software, it'll say error, socket connection error, or unable to connect to this stratum and it'll just repeat that error over and over again. That is a very typical error if this template or connection is not correct, which means you need to revisit this and figure out where you went wrong. Now, you might, might not have put the period in here to separate things, so you just need to double check all your information, including the URL you copied, because that could also be incorrect. Uh, now, guys, the more complicated thing because this is not as straightforward as I would like it to be. You can't just click add and then select a zip file from GitHub and just upload a mining software. Uh, Rave OS requires a specific way to configure the zip files so that the Rave OS can utilize it on the Linux software that it's using. So that said, they have an official GitHub for Rave OS custom mining. Uh, it goes over, the. Uh, they have readmes that go into exactly what you need to do, uh, how you need to set it up. Basically, you're going to need the zip folder for the mining software you're going to use, and then you need to create a new directory file inside the zip for Rave OS, and it's going to configure how it's launched. Uh, and also, you're going to need to add like basic pool information that it's going to connect to, and, and the like. Now, it does break this down. I'm going to be completely honest. I have not done this. I have not successfully launched a mining software on Rave OS. I haven't really needed to because everything for me has been on here. But if you're, for say, adding a brand new project that's running a brand new algorithm, uh, this is some of the hoops that you're going to have to jump through. Me personally, I would probably reach out to the development team for the project and let them know that you're a Rave OS user and forward them to this page and see if they can set it up for you if you're not tech savvy. That might not work just because they might not want to put in that amount of effort to get it onto Rave OS. I mean, it is what it is. Basically, if you have a little bit of coding knowledge, and uh, you're familiar with editing zip files. This is something that's not terribly difficult to do, uh, but it does require some knowledge with code and some knowledge with editing zips. And if you're just a bare bones Windows user, more or less like myself, 
it's probably outside of your field of knowledge. But I did want to link this to the video because in my earlier video, I didn't touch on this topic at all because I hadn't successfully pulled it off, so I didn't want to share no knowledge with people. But since then, this GitHub has been created and they've dove into it a little bit more. So there is now a resource for people who want to do this. But that is the summary for the custom mining tab, guys. I mean, adding coins and pools is pretty simple. Uh, adding a miner to the software is going to be significantly harder than the first two. However, it is doable, and I did want to share those resources with the community. So if you like this video, guys, please hit that like button. Comment down below if you have any questions. I will do my absolute best to answer them in case I missed anything. But otherwise, guys, Fox Protocol Mining here. I'm signing off.